God is my lawyer, so this ain't hate speech, it's great speech. Money does not exist, only power does. It was only 5,000 years ago, around 600 BC, that the first Mesopotamian shekel was created. So what the hell were you using before that? Then we're going to fast forward to around the 7th century to the 11th century in the Tang Dynasty, where the first uh, paper money was invented. Fast forward again to the U.S. and United States. Finally, they created the first dollar bill for America, and that was only in April 2nd, around 1792. So before paper money, what did we do? We traded and bartered. That means that you had to have supply and demand. And those that were the wealthiest were the ones that controlled the supply and the demand, which means that power predates money, obviously. So I'm not trying to say that money has no purpose or money is nothing at all, because the scripture says that money is our defense and money answers all things. What I'm trying to say is that if you have power, you really don't need money. Money is a result of those with power. If you don't believe me, I have proof right now of some very wealthy people that are in prison right now and their money couldn't save them because they don't have any power. For one, Bill Cosby, you saw that he was in there for a long time and he has more money than pretty much almost everybody in the acting realm. Second, we have R. Kelly. R. Kelly, he ain't going nowhere. He just got sentenced to 30 more years for what he was doing and he has a crap load of money, one of the highest selling artists of all time. But if he had more power than money, he would be able to get out. Now, next, we have that Britney, uh, the, the girl that's over in the, you know, Know, the UK over there, the basketball player girl that can't get out because she was smuggling the drugs in, a, in the other country. She has money. She's in the WNBA, but obviously not that much money. But she definitely doesn't have any power. So they just sentenced her to nine years. And then you have um, the young thug, the young thug guy. All right. So we know he has money, but he has no power to them, to the system. He's just a hoodlum. So they'll give you all this money because they know that money does not mean anything, guys. Okay. So your goal should be to get power. The money will be just a side effect of that. But if you have power, then you can make things move in the world. You can make things move according to how you want them to go. And the scripture talks about that. So I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. All right. So now we have Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, where it says, A man's gift making room for him and bringeth him before great men. So if you have a gift, and I'm not just talking about some slave gift uh, where you just play basketball or something like that. I'm talking about where you move industry, where you see a lot of these big higher people getting off and getting out of prison and the, the light is not being shined on them is because they have a uh, demand. They control something in whole markets and industries that if you try to take them down, it would destroy a lot of things. So they just pretty much like turn a you know blind eye to these guys. So if you have a gift that that's, that's that powerful, then you know, your money really doesn't matter. Like if you're a president and you go broke or whatever, then who you are will allow you to recuperate everything you lost. That's power. Money can't do that, okay? In certain places, that you can't get in or get access to by just paying. But if you're certain somebody, then they'll let you in. That's power, proving that power is stronger than money. So get power.